Many people like to claim that my videos are either edited or a bunch of illusions. That's because they probably are. If you think my videos are tampered and edited, then I challenge you to do the same and recreate these videos. Well, lucky for you, that's what I do. That's the purpose of this channel. So let's let's get to it. To do the things, spray spray the intro, whatever whatever the thing. Just do it. Just start. start. Just. All right, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real. Today, I really recommend that you stay until the end of the video. You won't be disappointed, I swear. So since I started this whole project, people have been asking if I can please talk about Ernest Viter. Now, this is a guy who claims to have all sorts of ability. There is so much content out there from, from this guy. There's actually, you know what? I don't even believe it's the same guy. I swear, I mean, anybody can buy this cheap mask and wear it and then say that, that, that it's him. Like anybody can do this. Like there's so much content out there from levitation to like spells to make you richer. I'm so glad that there is no binding to the dark forces because that, that, that was, that was going to be a hard no for me. So what do I need? to make this ritual happen. Итак, 12 gold coins, Два. two horns, sheep's wool. Can I perform this ritual with like anything else? Like, is, is there any way that I can use like things that I already have at home? Oh, whoa, sensitive much? Let's talk about the levitating elephant in the room. The main thing that this guy seems to be able to do is levitation. He has multiple videos where he shows like levitation and not just him, but his students. His students seems to be able to levitate. One of his students even claims that he has levitated across a river just with the power of his mind. Now, the footage is all kind of shaky and weird there's so many cuts and it's just like feels awkward and one of the comments to me actually was brilliant because this comment was asking how come this isn't how come this isn't viral because it's probably not real if this guy actually levitated across the river and then landed in a beach every single person would have taken out their phones and started like filming it. Listen, maybe you believe in some like weird conspiracy. They say like, oh no, no, but the government doesn't want these people. Oh, okay, okay. So, so, so the government would have stopped this video from going viral. While at the same time, Ernest Veter charges one thousand and four hundred dollars for a levitation course. T think, think about it for a sec. I want you to think about it for a second. Usually, I'm gonna replicate whatever I see in this video, but today I will not perform any levitation because levitation usually belongs to like big illusion stage. I never find it interesting, so I don't have the gear to do that. I don't want to get the gear to do that. And I always, I mean, listen, since David Copperfield, I've seen people float all over stages and float all over things. And it always just kind of looks obvious to me. What I'm saying is that even if you don't see the cable or you don't see the harness, it's always just kind of obvious that they're holding on to something. And the reason being is this, like if you are actually floating in the air with the power of your mind and not by any sorts of like mechanical thing, shouldn't you be able to move in any sorts of like direction? And I don't know how to explain this, but it's kind of like, have you ever been like underwater? Like underwater, you don't just go like straight on a straight line like this, but you can also, you know, rotate like this. You can rotate in this type of direction you know what i mean every single levitation i always seen from this guy or from like professional magicians they're always kind of on an axis i don't find them interesting so i will not be performing a levitation on this video today and speaking of performing a levitation there's a few nitpick that i have to do um first of all this guy really gives me magician vibe I don't know how to explain it, but even his, even his choice of thumbnail. Look, look, this is his thumbnail. These are some other magician's thumbnails. Like, it's just, you kind of see the similarity. Also, the way he holds his hand, the way his persona is. 
is just like screams performer to me. I'm gonna give you an example. Remember when I showed you like all the videos right here where, you know, he or his students are levitating? Well, I kind of lie because see, this video right here is actually from the movie Chronicle. This video right here is actually from a tutorial you can find on YouTube on how to you know, levitate using After Effects. This video right here is actually from a guy who used to call himself the Mask Magician. And it's a video of him revealing how he's doing the levitation and he's just like hanging out on, on cables and stuff. Don't you kind of see how all this levitation look the same? Like there's no difference between them. I know you're gonna tell me that he's students. He's doing this thing. Like sometimes he demonstrated there's no cables or no harnesses because he's, he has a stick and he's like moving it around. Can I just be a little bit nitpicky and just say like this guy, the way this guy moved the stick is just sometimes awkward. So he has a stick, right? Okay. And he kind of goes like on top. Then he goes at the back. Then he goes behind like this. And then he does this awkward movement to bring the stick back in front. And most of the time, he doesn't go on the other side. Oh, stop right there. Before you're going to say, oh, what about when a student flies and has like a jump rope going 360 all around him? What about it? This magician has done it before and better. So now you're probably thinking, if I'm not going to perform a levitation today, and if I think that these people are just a bunch of magicians, you're probably wondering why even talk about this guy today. I am not here to prove anything to anyone. I am here to give the knowledge to who is worthy. So you are not here to prove anything. Okay, put a pin on that. I'll go back to that. And you're here to give the knowledge to who is worthy. And who is worthy? I guess whoever can pay you $700 for a telekinesis course or $1,400 for a levitation course. Those are the people that are worthy. If you're selling a product that is so expensive, you do have something to prove. If I was trying to get a gig at a place, I would never show up to the owner of the place and be like, hey, I got nothing to prove. I'm just here to give my performance to who is worthy. Hire me now. You see how that doesn't fly? Pun intended. So if I'm not going to fly away and levitate, what else can I do today? Well, thankfully, Ernest Vitter has a lot of supernatural demonstration that I think I can probably replicate with my natural one. He did a little like live stream with a student of his, I guess, which by the way, the student has the same mask in the background. And it just makes me think it's not always the same person. I don't know why I'm obsessed with this thing. Like, you guys, have you guys seen my video about telekinesis guru? Like something tells me that it's, it's also the same guy. Like, I don't know. I just, I can't help to think about that. Go watch the video and you will see there's a bunch of similarities as well. Anyway, in this little live stream, he was teaching people how to do like telekinesis. And he was moving on a live stream. So I give him that. That's really good. Because I'm tired of like, I want to see these people perform live more. And I want to see them perform like incredible stuff. Unfortunately, this wasn't really incredible. It was just him moving a glass on a table like this. Which to be fair, it's something that I've done many times. I think I posted one like last week over here with our coffee mug. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say like, oh, he's moving a, a, a glass who's transparent and we can see everything. You're moving a, a, a mug that could hide all sorts of things. And I'm like, I'm tired of your nitpicks, okay? Anyway, at some point in this video, he hinted at the possibility of moving this object without using his hand, which is something that I always wanted to see, except... Good things just to use the hands, because um, without hands, you have to prepare a long time. So I can even do like this, but I have to prepare. So, for example, now I'm not prepared and for a small telekinesis like this, I can just... Oh, these people. So this guy has students who can levitate across a river. He challenged people like me to do what they're doing and he doesn't come prepared to a live stream. I'm, I'm, I keep reminding myself that I'm trying to, I'm supposed to be neutral on some stuff. I can't when this guy is selling like very expensive like telekinesis courses. And when he does a live stream, he's just, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't I'm not prepared to, to show you anything better. Just pay me $700 and then I'll show you. No, bro. But I have to be honest about something. There is a demonstration of pyrokinesis that he did 
that was actually really impressive and i'm not and i'm not easily impressed like i was i was actually very i was like oh this is kind of cool and i'm not just talking about him just performing regular parakinesis like turning on a match with his mind like this because something like this i've done it many times and i've done i think last week i posted a video where i also do a demonstration of parakinesis and that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is this kind of videos where he is turning on a match there is behind like a glass and i was watching this video i watched this video many times and i thought there was maybe some cgi involved in it i thought there was like possibly some masking or there was a way someone was getting into the into the the, the, the tank but like it's let's let's talk about something for a second all of these videos that i've showed you today right why do they look like they've been filmed with a potato <laughs> Even the, 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 the crappiest phone you can get can now shoot at least a 720. All of this video, the quality is just like terrible. But then I stumble across, it wasn't easy to find. Then I stumble across this other video of him like doing kind of the same performance, but like in a different settings. And now the camera is moving. You can see better inside the glass and like it turns on like burst of flame. And I was like, just, just, just watch it. It's, it's actually very good. I'm a little bit embarrassed. This whole channel is about me replicating uh, the claims of the supernatural with my natural skills. I already said that I'm not gonna do the levitation and now I can't do the match inside a glass thingy and uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm really, I, I, uh. let's try this for a change. I'm gonna play you that clip again. The two of us, we can watch it together until we can kind of figure out how he's doing it and then maybe you can help me. Let's try that. I'm, a, I'm gonna play the clip again. Let's do it. Roll. I am Ernest Veder. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I got you though. Did you really think that I wasn't gonna be able to replicate a magic trick, which is the old premise of this channel? Maybe I am Ernest Veter. I'm not. But what I'm saying is that, would you be able to tell the difference now? All I've been asking is, how can we tell the difference between what you call real powers and what I call magic and sleight of hand? If everything looks the same. Let me give you an example. Remember before, when I, when I played these two videos and I was like, oh, you're gonna complain that I'm moving, you know, that he's moving a, 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 gl a transparent glass and I'm not. Well, guess what? This isn't him. Now you probably don't trust anything you've seen in this video. I know you're gonna go back and rewatch it and be like, wait, so which one was you, which one was him? Let me help you. Remember when I showed you all this like levitation? Yeah, this one right here? Yeah, that's not him, that's me again. <laughs> so moral of the story today is that we need more filters. I mean, we need more parameters. We need better way to distinguish the real from the fake especially when the possible fake, again, it could be the real deal. 
But at the same time, he's asking you for $1,400 without even showing a proper telekinesis or levitation video. We need better way to demonstrate this stuff. It can't just be, oh, listen to what he says or like, I have listened to what he said. The guy can't even move a piece of glass without putting his magician's hands on top of it all over the place. And yes, this is him. This is not me. Just be careful. Even, even about doing spells. You know what I mean? Not because you can be binded to the dark forces, but because just you going around looking for sheep wool and 12, you know, gold coins so you can make a ritual to make your finance better. By the time you found all this little, you know, gold coins and sheep wool, you could have made your finance better by just not wasting time with the stuff. You know what I mean? Just be careful. That's all I want. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're still here watching this video, obviously you have to write down levitation. Okay, it wasn't that obvious. But um, anyway, I am Ernest Vider, and uh, I'll see you. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh.